What's up, guys? Earth is one here, and welcome back to another edition of the Three Way Dance Wrestling Podcast. And you can't have a three way dance unless there's three of us. So joining me as always is Shelby, aka Shubs. It's Morbin time. Okay. All right. I'm... All right. And joining me as always is Oh Nikki. You're so fine, Nick. So fine, I blow your mind. What's up, everybody? All right, we got a pack show for you here tonight. Of course, we're going to talk about Money in the Bank, WWE's recent pay-per-view offering. We got some news. We're going to play our games that we love and that we know and love. Three Word Dance. Um, it came from eBay. Uh, some other stuff later down the road. Uh, but we have two things that we need to discuss before we get to any of that. Even before the news, we got to get to uh, first things first. There is going to be a schedule change after this week's episode. Uh, we will now begin our recording. We usually record these on Tuesday night for a Wednesday premiere. Uh, we will be switching that for a short time, uh, according to Shelby, because uh, apparently Shelby runs a p- podcast now, and I don't know about it. Hell uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we will be moving our recording nights to Thursday for a Friday premiere. Uh, that will just be temporary, apparently, according to Shelby. Again, he's in charge, not me. Um so that will be temporary after this week's episode. So next week's episode after this uh, will be on a Friday. If me and Shelby decide to do something because Nick is going away again for another vacation. This motherfucker takes more vacations than um, fucking high class CEOs and shit. You know, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't think that's true. You know, <laughs> and um Speaking of which, uh, we got to discuss something else here, and that is uh, a viewership, or not even viewership, but uh, I, I want to make a statement here. These two don't know what I'm about to say, uh, but they're more than welcome to add on to what I got to say here. And that is um, when I advertise, quote unquote, advertise, because it's not really advertising. When I advertise that the podcast is up, that's merely what it is an advertisement saying, hey guys, the podcast is up. You know, it's not a quote unquote view beg. It is not a quote unquote whine. I don't think we've ever done one podcast where the three of us have ever cried, like physically cried, I, I, at least not to my knowledge. I could be wrong. Um, and also, I was looking through um, the, no. um, I was also looking through the, uh, like the spam comments on uh, YouTube. I also want to address something else here. Me, Nick, and Shelby have been doing this podcast where I believe this is episode, if you add them all up, this is episode 61, I believe. There's a reason why we've done this 61 times in general is because we get along, obviously. we I guess you could say we like each other. So, like, w- when I say something like, God damn it, Shelby, you suck, I don't really mean, God damn it, Shelby, you suck. It's a fucking podcast, and we're having fun. You know, when when Nick tells Shelby, pardon me, fuck you, he doesn't really mean fuck you. We're, we're having fun. It's a fucking podcast. Right. You know, uh, so I just wanted to point that out there because uh, some of the comments in the spam comments were just like, hey, Nick and Shelby seem great, but Artist seems like somebody who would punch a dog. <laughs> and I'm just like, they do realize that, like, we don't really hate each other. Correct. You know, and, and again, most of these comments were from accounts that were made like that week or that day even which i mean i really shouldn't be addressing them but i just i just feel the need that it needs to be addressed that like when we you know tear into each other i mean there have been a couple tense moments on the cast you know when we review some things that we heavily disagree on (laughs) but like shit we come back the next week and we do it again you know so i just wanted to state that if you two want to add anything you can if not we can get on with the news Actually, so we're actually Shelby and I are going. To, we're going to a Saturday night's main event next month. So there you go. <laughs> we so, don't hate each other at all. Like I mean, it's just one of those exactly. things. The microphones on, people listening, we have some fun. Exactly. You know, people are just like, "Oh, Shelby and Nick are great," but Artist seems like he fucking kicks puppies and shit. I'm just like, what? Like, wow. We can't defend whether you kick puppies. Well, yeah, that is true. But, I mean, it's just the fact that this is the shit people come up with listening to a wrestling podcast, you know? And the final thing I want to mention on this is that, yeah, I did post on YouTube last week that, yeah, after 16 hours, we had only eight views on on the YouTube version, that is, of 
last week's episode. So yeah, me, Shelby, and Nick, we did have to talk about maybe you know, is this worth our time? You know, like I didn't I and I asked Nick and Shelby, I was like, hey, if you two are having fun, then I'm not gonna ruin the fun. If you two just feel like I'm I'm holding a fucking gun to your head to be here, fucking tell me. We'll stop doing it. And their response is like, no, we have fun. I'm like, okay then. And again, somehow that translates to whining and view begging. So I don't understand how advertising the podcast gets to view begging. So, all right, with all that out of the way, let's get into the news here now. And uh, speaking of people egging people on, Hell let's yeah. talk about the first thing. Let's talk about let's talk about poor Joey Ryan, this poor guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Joey Ryan, as we, we all know what happened, the, the speaking out movement uh, pretty much cost him his job in wrestling. He tried to make a comeback in wrestling that was quickly uh, snubbed out. Uh, so it looks like he, he had to do what most people do. He had to go out and get a nine to five. Looks like he found something real nice. You know, he's going to be a tour guide on the Jungle Cruise at Disney. But a picture of him at said job went viral. And all of a sudden, he was no longer working at Disney. And Disney... Disney's comment was simply, he does not work here anymore. So my, my thing is, is just like, you know, if you didn't want him wrestling, you know, the wrestling fans egged him on like, hey, you're a fucking asshole. You're a piece of shit, blah, 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 whatever. But like now you're affecting his actual day to day life. He's not in wrestling anymore. So like, can't the man just live his life now? I suppose. I still thought it was pretty funny. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> it's weird seeing like a former wrestler whose whole gimmick was to like grab his, you know, have other people grab his dick and everything working at Disney. Well, and I think yeah. that's the problem. You know, he's working around kids. Like you can't. But did Disney you know, know that had, before? You never did a wrestling match where a child grabbed his dick. No, but. It's all over the internet that people were grabbing his dick. So, you know, unfortunately, that's just not a place that I think you should be working. You could probably work behind a sales desk somewhere. That's probably fine. But working with a bunch of kids? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, they obviously be didn't fair, do their homework on him before they hired well, him. Well, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Disney obviously didn't do their homework because, like, I mean, holy fuck, how do you not? How do you not figure that out? <laughs> but at the same time, though, too. There's a viral video for fucking years. At the same time, though, too, like, at what point do you draw a line before you stop affecting somebody's day-to-day? Exactly. Like, I mean, there, there's never been allegations proven in court. Exactly. Even if he was guilty, there's never been allegations. Even if he is guilty, rather. I mean, he apologized no for it, and he, and he got, like, help for it. So he obviously did something. Yeah, Nobody well, he, like, I mean, goes and, gets help and, that, and that's like that. commendable. That's commendable. Yeah. He pretty much came out and said, hey, yeah. I fucked up. Yeah. You guys don't want me wrestling anymore? Fine. Looks like I got to find a normal job. And then he did yeah. that, and people were just like, hey, you can't do that either. Yeah. You know, no. But Joey Ryan had to leave Disney. Hey, speaking of leaving, though, turns out a certain NXT superstar, or I'm sorry, NXT 2.0 yeah. superstar may be leaving within the next month. Shelby, you have any idea who that could be? No. Io Shirai. Yeah. Oh, wow. Might be on her way out that. the door. Uh, her contract expires next month. Uh, she's yet to sign anything new, and she's actually told people that she's like, I want to go back to Japan. Wow. So, would we miss Io Shirai? Yes and no. In current direction, would have had her get fired anyway, so. Yeah. Yes and no, I haven't watched NXT 2.0 ever, I don't think. So. <laughs> <laughs> not even not even the build up for war games 2.0 versus no. black and gold no 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 I, I i honestly i stopped watching nxt a couple years ago but 2.0 never really interested me anyway yeah i just i i watch the highlights or if there's something like i really want to watch and i'll go out and seek yeah out i might like seek out something that braun break oh grimes i'm not watching the episodes. fucking title tonight though yeah or like you know blood and guts was last week i was like all right i gotta go watch blood and guts no yeah that's aw no, I know, but I'm just saying, like, in general, because I don't have cable. Yeah. So, like, I'm just saying all the shit that, like, Raw, NXT, yeah. AEW, I don't watch. So, like, I got to watch clips to stay up to date. But if there's something I really want to watch, like Blood and Guts, I'll go out and seek it. But speaking of blood, 
Um, the bloodline. Uh, people, you know, th- this reminds me of like, I think two years ago now, where like everybody kept having this fucking wet dream of, oh my God, Liv Morgan's got to be Sister Abigail. Oh my God, <laughs> it'd be so cool. It's if Alexa Liv Morgan- Bliss. And not even Alexa Bliss was Sister Abigail. She was just some weird fucking brave follower. But everybody just kept having this fucking fascination with like, oh my God, if Liv Morgan was Sister Abigail, it would be so cool. And now this seems to be the new thing. And I mentioned the blood run because it seems like every time I turn around, there's some obsession with like, oh my God, they have to add a new member. They, they got to add a new one. They need some. First it was Naomi. But since she's walked out, that's pretty much died out. Yeah. You know, now the new one is Solo Sokoa from NXT, which I mean, <laughs> in theory, makes more sense than Naomi because Naomi was married into the bloodline. Solo actual... Sokoa is the brother of Jimmy and Exactly. Jack. He's actual blood. So it makes sense. But like, it's, it's what one of those like, do, though? don't it's... fix what's not broken, man. He, they're yeah. like your top heel thing going right now. Solo like, Sokoa why... could not possibly be seen as capable of beating either Gunther or Lashley right now. So why in the fuck would you call him up? Because he would just be the, the lackey to the lackeys. I could see them beating those guys, but like, yeah, but without the bloodline. Like, if they built him up as like somebody on his own, then yeah, I could totally see him being a guy like beating Gunther or Lashley or something like that. But if they just put him with the bloodline, then yeah, exactly what you said, lackey to the lackeys. If this was a year ago, they wanted to add somebody to it. I think it'd be a different thing. But like, I don't think the bloodline line has a lot of longevity left to it, especially if Roman's going to be like more of a part timer anyway. I just, I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it would work if, if, if it was done. I don't see a point at this point. Yeah. Cause like now, now Roman Reigns is making that fucking, uh, Lesnar money, I guess, where like he can just show up once every fucking six months. Yeah. Or yes, whatever. Uh, I'm sure he shows up a little bit more often than that, but, but it's you know, kind of similar. Yeah. He basically decides when he shows up. Yeah. yeah. Ever since he signed that new deal that got him that. Hey, speaking of that signing, deal. Um, there seems to be a new WWE superstar signing. Uh, we mentioned him last week. We thought it was just going to be a one-off he was coming in for, but he is actually signed by the company. YouTuber and boxer Logan Paul officially signed by WWE. So I guess we weren't the only ones impressed by his WrestleMania match. Yeah, I mean... Jim Cornette was impressed by it, too, and he said they should sign him. But I think I would have preferred to see him as a heel than a babyface. I guess I can get why he'd want to be one with all his YouTube followers and stuff. But I just think he was such a good heel. Maybe he's just going to be a babyface for the match with Miz, and then they'll turn him. Maybe, but it just, what, are you going to turn him every fucking month? (laughs) Well, they do. It worked for Big Show. (laughs) he made a turn he, i think i think i saw a video online one time where, like, I think his, his official count of turns was like 18 yeah there's like a video that shows like every turn yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he ended up with his own netflix show on top of all that hey speaking yeah. of netflix uh there seems to be a wrestling company that is getting filmed for a documentary to air on Netflix. Shelby, do you happen to know what wrestling company that would be? No, I do not. OVW. Current OVW? Current OVW. Why would it be past OVW? How would wow. they be filming shit in the past? That's true. <laughs> I'd be yeah, more they're, they're, yeah, they're filming past, shit though. in the past from like 2002. Yeah. <laughs> no, they got a time filming- machine. Yeah, they're filming current stuff from OVW to possibly air on Netflix because Netflix does have first right of refusal. Uh, If they don't like it, they can be like, fine, fuck it, and then they can take it elsewhere. Uh, But yeah, OVW, this is apparently the biggest deal that they've had since departing WWE back in 2008. So almost. Well, I can remember watching OVW on UPN. Ah, really? Really? On Saturday nights. God I damn, never, I didn't know that. I've never watched an episode of fucking... No, like, I've seen some YouTube clips, but it's something yeah. that I really wish they would add. I only to ever it. saw it, like, once. <clears throat> That'd be cool to see. Would you want to see an OVW Netflix reality show? 
I doubt it. It's a reality well, show or a documentary? Reality, well, documentary slash reality show about uh, the behind the scenes of OBW. Yeah, I, I'd be I'd more interested. I'd rather see behind the scenes of OBW back then. Yeah, yeah, like a cornet slapping the shit out of Santino. <laughs> <laughs> just to see like the beginnings of like Cena, Lesnar, Orton, and Batista. That'd know? be a good that'd Shut be a good up, episode. That'd be a good episode of Dark Side of the Ring to slap. <laughs> I don't know. Wait. I don't know if it could be that long. So I slapped him. Okay, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> He's gonna rant over like almost an hour though. And then yeah. there was that second incident in Whenever that was at the convention. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Santino yeah. tried to apologize, and Cornette was just like, "Look, like whatever, like no." And no, then they both got me. kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, get away from me, you stupid fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Something along that line. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where are my eBay scores? Are there? All right, so that was the news this week. So we are going to move on to our preliminary games, I guess you could say, um, that we like to play here. And There's that is- uh, breaking NXT news. Oh, what do we got? There's new tag team champions. Women's tag team champions. <laughs> so, so Cora J and, and Rosa uh, Perez. They won those? Wow. Now yeah. if we can just get that NXT women's title on Wendy Chu, it'll all be right in the world. Oh, God. Please no. Oh, see, <laughs> I don't even watch. Speaking of Wendy Chu, Wendy Chu lost to Tiffany Stratton. Oh, well, but I, yeah, that's a win-win because I like Stratton too. Uh, all right, so let's get into it. Came from eBay and the three-word dance, and um, did a little more uh, searching on the uh, on the eBays there, and uh, found some uh, doozy of doozy of some items here. Is there so, a Norwegian VHS? I know, right? Yeah. No, 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 no Norwegian VHS, but I did find some. No uh, Turkish betas. No Turkish betas this time. All right. So Nick is currently up eleven to ten. He's up by one. So your first three here. First one is being a Macho Man Randy Savage photo. This is just a photo of Randy yeah. Savage. And it's a Slim Jim promo. So it was a picture of Randy Savage in like all red, and on the bottom it had like snap into a Slim Jim or whatever it said. Mm. Just a photo, not signed. Let me stress that. Not signed. Not signed. And it's not signed by Tully Blanchard. Not signed by Tully Blanchard either. <laughs> um, the next one is a WCW ring worn Akira Hokuto shirt. Akira Hokuto, for those of you who don't know, was one of the few uh, WCW women's champions they had. Apparently, this was one of the shirts she wore at an event. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And finally, it is the Randy Macho Man Savage. Savage, Bone Saw McGraw, actual costume from the movie Spider Man. Which, which one of these three are going for the most expensive price on eBay? The Bone Saw McGraw costume. Yeah, I gotta go with the costume. Yeah, I figured that was gonna be a give me there. Yeah. Uh, points for both of you. Uh, the Bone Saw McGraw uh, movie gear is going for the price of $75,000. Oh, God damn. Fuck. <laughs> all right uh the next three here where's that one i found because i found that was really cool yeah here it is okay so these three here all right this is a wcw nwo remember tiger games you know tiger electronic handheld games yeah those were or, sweet i had the space jam one man yeah Fuck see they awesome. they had plenty others and not only did they have handheld games but they apparently had games that you can put inside of a pen so they had a WCW NWO pen, and it was a WCW-related game and also an ink pen. Oh, wait, uh, I had one of those. I had a Star Wars one, man. It was like a lightsaber, man. Lightsaber sounds. It was fucking sweet. Uh, the package is torn open, but still pretty much intact. It features, I believe, I saw Hulk Hogan, Hollywood Hogan, and Wolfpack Sting on there. Um, <laughs> or is it th- this I found really cool? Uh, the 1999 WCW NWO NWO Rules and Bones Mold and Mash playset. Now, what this was, they gave you like some fucking play doh, whatever, and they gave you molds of four wrestlers. I couldn't make out all four, but I know two of them for sure were Hogan and Sting. And they give you some like play doh, 
So you can mash a wrestler. Then on top of that, the kit kind of like makeshift into a ring. So like they gave you like a ring, ropes, chair, and everything. So you can make your Play-Doh wrestlers fight each other in the ring. <laughs> Yeah, it was. I was like, this is pretty fucking cool, man. I kind of was that like one of those like fucking because they had those ones with the bugs. Yeah, yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Or is it the 1990 WCW Slamorama wrestling card game? This was a well. I mean, I said it all right there. It was a wrestling card game featuring WCW superstars such as the Steiner brothers, Ron Simmons, Ric Flair. I, I believe I. I believe I saw Barry Windham, but don't quote me on that. Uh-huh. Which one of these three items are going for the most expensive price on eBay? Creepy crawlies. That's what they call the bug ones. Yeah. Playmates toys made those. Sorry. I probably the, the mold, the, the fucking the game thing with the Play-Doh. Okay. So this tiger pen was a game you could play? Yeah, I mean, it was also a pen. And it was like a big giant pen. And then, like, on the end of the pen, there was, like, an electronic game that you could play in there, like a handheld game. Hmm. I'm going the tiger pen. Hmm. Then I have to say no points. Oh, damn. It was actually the 1990 WCW Slamorama wrestling card game going for the price of $300. Wow. Yeah. All right. And your last three here. Which three do I want to get? Okay. Um, We'll go with this one right here. Is it the TNA, uh, TNA NWA it's like TNA. the first TNA fucking item? Yeah, that. exactly. Yeah, that's why I looked it up because I was like, wait, they had a lot of weird fucking items. Let me look up their shit. <laughs> the TNA DVD board game. This is a sealed copy of the TNA DVD board what? game. What? Yeah. Hmm. Or is it the um? Is it the 1990 sealed Milton Bradley Brutus the Barber Beefcake? puzzle oh no it is just simply a puzzle bruce the barber beefcake is it signed by ed leslie no it is actually signed by arn anderson no i'm kidding no <laughs> <laughs> um or you know oh you know what hold on uh what is it um uh mulligan we're, we're r- stopping this round right here because i forgot that that joke just made me remind me of this item that I want to do. So different three items I'm giving you here. Okay. Yeah. Is it the TNA DVD board game? I'll keep that one in there. The TNA DVD board game. Is it the TNA Hulk Hogan t-shirt signed by Brooke Hogan? <laughs> At least they're related, I guess. I know, but still. <laughs> or... Is it, the, remember the old WWF Jax figures, you know, the rubber ones, and yeah. whenever you bought one, they would have, like, that little WWF stand. Okay. You could stand your, do you remember those? Yeah. Okay. Or is it the lot of 26 WWF Jax figure stands? Just the Which stands? One of these three? That's it, just stands. You get 26 of them, then. So which one of these three items are going for the most expensive price on eBay? Fuck. Hulk Hogan's t-shirt signed by Brooke. The 26 figure stands. Points. Dick. Damn it. Oh, fuck. The 26 figure stands? Get ready for this, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> the 26 figure stands are going for the price of $75. Holy wow! Fuck, pay for a hooker instead. <laughs> you Probably might get couple. herpes, but at least it'll be better than paying seventy-five dollars for fucking figure stands. You fucking morons! <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. And since we reworked our whole schedule to fit Shelby, I kind of want to give Shelby one more chance at points. So I want to do these three here. Is it? The 1985 Rock and Wrestling board game. This is Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling board game. Is it animated? The animated, yeah. Ooh. I'll throw it back in. The TNA DVD board game. Is it that one right there? Or is it Gordon Soli's Championship Wrestling Trivia game? Oh my God, I've heard of this game. Which one of these three are going for the most expensive price on eBay? Oh. The TNA DVD board game. 
Oh, oh I'm going to go with Gordon Soley's game. Uh, so, yeah, I give you a chance at points, Shelby, and you spoil it. No points, nobody. Ah, it was the Rock and Wrestling. Damn it. Yeah, the 1985 that, so Rock and Wrestling board game, $129.95. I want oh, that Gordon Soley game. I'll never play it, but I want it. <laughs> I'd tell you the price of it, but then it would kind of ruin the game later. Yeah. You'll probably yeah, look yeah. it up later. So. I probably uh, won't. You remember. Actually. Yeah, uh, I won't. <laughs> All right, now we're going to move on to our game. We like to play here the three-word dance where we give each other three words that relate to a wrestler, and we have to see if we can figure out, you know, what the connection is to them. So your first three are, all right, your first three are bongo, as in, like, the musical instrument, bear, black. Tony Atlas. No. You said that with such confidence, I feel bad. Bongo, Bear, Black. Ivan Koloff. No. Sting? No. I can just hear Shelby thinking. <laughs> I was looking at BBB and I'm like, huh. <laughs> it's not the initials. God damn it. Oh, yeah. You said that last week. Yeah. You don't have any. No, but this is one of like the newer ones I wrote. But it's oh, OK. <laughs> Bongo. Dances with Dudley? No. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off the night right. Bongo. Um, Bongo, Bear, Black. Bear. Bear, B E A R, B A R E. B E A R, as in the animal. Okay. Uh, Nikita Koloff? No. Bongo Bear Black. That was a good one. Yeah. Mero. No. If you didn't want to play tonight. I'm fucking trying, okay? Fuck <laughs> off. Way more guesses than I've given it. Yeah, that's true, though. <laughs> Bongo Goddamn. Kamala? No. Kimchi. No. I I, I want to know how you link those three words to kimchi. Well, I always say because Kamala, the fucking. Never mind. Okay. Thank you. Hint. Your hint being. Hmm. Halliburton. Big Josh? No. Yeah. Um. I think it's been a while since I've stumped y'all on one. Big Dick yeah. Dudley. No. Uh, oh, man. Bongo, Bear, Black, and your hint being Halliburton. Buddy Landau. No. You said that with such confidence, I feel bad. <laughs> Nick Bockwinkle. No. Vern Gagne. No. <laughs> I will not bite the hand that feeds me. And then Black Bart. That's right. What'd you say? <laughs> Black Bart. Oh, no. No, Black's in the fucking, I don't know why. He was known as other things. I got fucking nothing, man. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm stumped. Steve McMichael. Okay. Uh, Black, because he wore the black trunks. Right. Bear, he was on the Chicago Bears. Right. Halliburton, he carried around, he carried around the Halliburton briefcase. And Bongo, when Steve Austin was in ECW, he referred to Mongo as Bongo. Oh, damn! I that would 
Fuck, that was a good one. I know it was. I wrote it. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> All right, my first three words. Particle. Cell. Atomic. PCO. Nope. That's A, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> cell as in C-E-L-L or S-E-L-L? C-E-L-L. Atom bomb. Nope. Man, Nick keeps saying them with like such confidence. I feel bad when he them. <laughs> Particle, cell, and atom. Mm-hmm. Atomic. Oh, atomic. I'm sorry. Yeah. I wrote down atom, and then when you're like, oh, atomic, I crossed out atom and wrote atomic <laughs> when I could have just wrote a fucking I C- IC yeah. on the end. Yeah. <laughs> uh, particle, cell, atomic. Particle cell 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 atomic. Yeah. Particle cell atomic. 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 Because, you know, once he said particle and cell, like, this is an initial one. But then the A came up, and I'm like, all right, I got nothing. Uh, P, particle. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. So, no. I don't, I don't know how it fits, but mankind? Nope. Mick Foley. Mm. Who? Uh, um, Hint. Scientific. Oh, yeah, that's enough information to let me know I'm so (laughs) fucked. Scientific. Beaker. No. Damn. Is it Bunsen Honeydew? No. That's a Muppet. They were on Raw. I (sighs) can tell me shit about what I know. That's true. That's true. Cell atomic scientific being the hint. I don't know. I got nothing. Two stumpers in a row, Nick. I got nothing. Particle, cell, and atomic are all scientific theories for Austin theory. God damn it! (laughs) God damn it, Shelby, you suck! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck, I love that one. To the snowflake who's gonna write the comment about that? Fuck you too. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> three words: Daddy Ring Official. King? No. Daddy. Oh, uh, Sony Deville. No. What? Tiffany Stratton? No. Kevin Nash? No. The Rock? No. The first word's daddy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I accidentally, uh, you know, the way I wrote the D, it looked like a B. So, like, I'm looking, I'm like, B-R-O, bro, Matt Riddle. But then I was like, wait, that can't be right. <sighs> um, Daddy Ring Official. Goddamn, we came to play tonight, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. King Kong Bundy. No. Nah. 
Is it Viscera? No. Big Daddy V? No. Okay. And no, it's Sam Abel, because it's not. <laughs> I wasn't thinking it. <laughs> <laughs> but is it Mo? No. Okay. Stephanie McMahon. And it's not Oscar, and it's not Stephanie McMahon. It was Stephanie McMahon, the three words would be big ass fucking titties. <laughs> That's four words. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Daddy ring official. Hint. Is it ring or bring? Ring. Okay, I had it as bring. And the hint, ah, uh, fuck. Bald. Carrying cross? No. Eugene? No. I'm out. Um, oh, um, Buff, Buff Bagwell. No. Oh. I was like in Buff Daddy. I got nothing. Mike Kyoto. No. No, that was a good guess. That's Tim White. No. I don't think he's. He's probably dead. I take I take, I take back that comment about good guess. <laughs> I was like Mike Kyoto. That's a good guess. And you're like Tim White. I'm like never mind. Earl Hebner. No. Um. Oh shit. Charles Robinson. Uh, Adam... So what was that show? Adam Pierce. Uh, Adam Pierce. Yeah. Scrap Daddy, Ring of Honor, WWE official. He's balled down. He didn't yeah. use to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, that's the first one anybody's got. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um. Okay. Your three words are hand, pat, mullet. Hand, as in, you know, hand job. Pat, as in, pat my ass. And mullet, as in, mullet my balls. Ew. I don't know. I figured I was making them all sexual. I figured I'd go for three. Hand, mullet, pat. Bruce Pitcher. No. Mike Awesome. No. Ryan Pillman. No. And Braun Strowman. No. Sorry, hand pat. What was the other word again? Mullet. Mullet. Mark Henry. No. What? Barry Horowitz. Barry Horowitz. There you go. Ah. Hand because he had the hand on his tights, Pat because he'd always pat his back, and mullet because, well, he had a mullet. Fair enough. Next three words. Single. <laughs> dude. Group. John Laurinaitis. Nope. Single. Dude. Yep. And group. Yes, yep. No, this is not a GD yet. No. Single dude. Sting? Nope. Oh. Shawn Michaels. Nope. Diesel. Diesel. Nope. Damn. Kevin Nash. Nope. What? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Hickenbacken. Come on. Sick and bottom. Yeah. Whatever. You knew who I was saying, God damn it. Yeah. Also, I believe it's Michael. It's a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> 
Also, I believe it's fuck you. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> to the snowflake who's going to write that, fuck you too. S single dude group. God damn. Oh, um, Trent. Nope. Kalen Crawl. Nope. I give up. <laughs> you still have him. Oh, dude. He's fit, fucking Trent Barreto. <laughs> All right. I just want to point that out. Dude. What? Single dude group. Shane Holmes? Nope. Shannon Moore? Nope. Evan Courageous? Nope. Dan Cabot? Nope. Hint. Dream. Dusty Rhodes? Nope. Cody Rhodes? Nope. Dustin Rhodes? No. Patrick Clark? No. Velveteen Dream? No. Sam Man. No. Wait, what was the hint again? I forgot. Dream. Dream. Oh, fucking nothing. Yeah, I got nothing, dude. All right. Single meaning one. Dude meaning man. Group meaning gang. Dream. Akeem. One man gang. You fucking suck. <laughs> That's going to do it for this week's episode of Three Way Dance House Podcast. And I'm tired of fucking YFS. <laughs> you fucking dickhead. <laughs> oh, fuck. fuck. That was good. I like that one. That was bullshit. Fuck you. <laughs> Next three words. I by E Y E. Mm -hmm. Wedding. Money. I will see I'm wrong. No. No. Ray Mysterio. No. Shane McMahon. No. Vicky Guerrero. No. Terry Funk. No. I was just going on eye on that one. <laughs> my eye! My eye! <laughs> I wedding money. I wedding money. I wedding money. <laughs> I <laughs> my new thought process. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, money. Uh, is it Rico? No. Billy Gunn. No. Chuck Palumbo. No. Eric Bischoff. No. I seem too on the nose. Uh. Believe it or not, I is just what's. Oh, um. Oh, the other two don't make sense, but uh, Malachi Black? No. Nope. Okay, yeah, the other two that make sense. Alistair Black. No, what the. <sighs> Just to make sure Tommy end? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, Test. No. Oh, that was good. I don't know where I fit, but that was good. Nah. Hint. Riot. Boom, boom. No. Liv Morgan. There you go. There you go. I uh, oh. heard, heard, oh, okay. heard gear. 
the fucking. I was like, um, wait a minute. At first, I'm like, I was like, I wait. Like, and I was wedding. like, yeah, and I was like, wedding, what? And then it hit me. <laughs> I got it. Money in the bank and the fucking yep. ride squad. Um, what was the eye thing again? Sorry? She wears them on her tights, man. Yeah. Oh, okay. She wears them on her ass and her tits, basically saying, look at my ass and tits. And I do. Yeah. <laughs> um. Next Sword three words. Alice. Next three words are. Yeah, we'll go with this. Next three words are stand, kick, horseshoe. It's not S K H. I like that to what we always go for now. Yeah, it's the easy one to get out of the stand, way. Stand, kick, horseshoe. Shawn Michaels. No. Yeah. Shelton Benjamin. No. Stand, kick, or shoe. Now I'm thinking about it. I may have one of those words wrong. Let me make sure. Here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's right, but let me double check. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Stand horseshoe kick. Here it is. Wait a minute. Damn it. I think I think stands the wrong word. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Stand Sorry. Horseshoe. Kicking horseshoe is what you need to focus on, I guess, then until he gets that figured out. Kicking horseshoe is better than the fucking first word anyway, so. Talus. Michael Shane. No. Okay. Okay, new word for Stan. Sorry, because I got the wrong one. 30. Kick. Horseshoe. My bad. My bad. That's on me. What? Um, my bad. What the fuck? 30 kick horseshoe. Thirty. Sha no. Shawn Michaels? I already that. said Shawn Michaels. Shelby already said Shawn Michaels, and I said no. Uh, well, yes. No. Hint. Your hint being... The hint being... Um... God, every hint that I'm thinking of just kind of gives it away. Maybe this won't give it away. White stripes. Pat McAfee. God damn it. I knew it was going to give it away. Fuck. 30 because he debuted at NXT TakeOver 30, which I had Stan because I thought it was Stan and Deliver. Oh, okay. Yeah, kick because he was the kicker for the uh, Indianapolis Colts. Horseshoe, Colt symbol, horseshoe. And oh, yeah. Um, white stripes, that's what he came out to at WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. All right, my last three words last, orchestrate, 
death. Legion of Doom. Yeah, I thought that one might go quick. I thought huh. it might go quick. The um. Well, once you said orchestra, I'm just like, wait a minute. <laughs> Orchestrate, but um, my head was going to be Highway Soldiers. Road Warriors. Yeah. You fucking asshole. <laughs> fucking Nick. Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> Pissed him off tonight. <laughs> Last three words. Black. Streak. 20. Undertaker? No. Yeah. Black Streak 20. Goldberg. There you go. There you go. Black tights. Mostly black tights. A streak. And WrestleMania 20. Notorious for Goldberg's last match of his first WWE run. Fucking guy. Yeah. All right. So that was the three word dance. We had some doozies in that one this week. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. And before we get on to our review of Money in the Bank, got to give a quick shout out to one of our sponsors here, the great people over at MoviesRUSA.net, which they have a wide variety of TV shows and movies that have either never been on physical media before, haven't been on physical media in a while, or uh, I forgot the third one. Shit, what is it? I don't know. They're, they have them. Um, but they have a wide selection of 2,500 titles almost to choose from. TV shows, movies, uh, don't want to go out and risk getting COVID. Fuck, get Top Gun Maverick sent to your home. Not only do you not have to go out and pay the ticket prices, but fuck, you get to keep the movie on top of all that. You okay? won't risk getting monkeypox either. There you go. You won't get monkeypox, monkey AIDS, none of that shit. COVID. COVID, yeah, that too. I, I forgot about that, that shit. one. You know? Um, so yeah, moviesrusa.net. When you go on over there, you're gonna see their prices. You're gonna be like, these are some damn good prices, but you know what? We're gonna make them even better for you because we're gonna let you use our checkout code that is three way, the word, not the number, also in the description of the YouTube version of this. I don't know if it's somewhere on the Spotify and Apple version. If it is, eh, you'll find it. But pay close attention if it's not. It is three way, the word, not the number. If you go on over there and you're like, these are some great prices, but I want to pay even less. Well, use checkout code three way and save yourself fifty percent on your purchase. I mean, and, and on top of not price. getting sick, gas prices are outrageous in North America <laughs> right now, at least. So like, yeah, fuck. don't 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 want to pay five dollars a gallon for gas. Pay five dollars for shipping. Have the movie sent to your house. And on top of all that, if you spend uh, if you spend what it would cost to fill your tank up with gas, you know, fifty bucks. Hey, free shipping to your house. You know. And you already probably have like all the snacks and shit at home. Exactly. And you throw went to the grocery pizza store. In the oven, or yeah. like you can do something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Throw a pizza in the oven, and then you can watch uh, Two Two Seven, the complete series on Blu-ray. You know, there you go. all titles are available on Blu-ray, DVD by special request for for movies only, not TV shows. So head on over to MoviesRUSA.net. Use that checkout code three way and save yourself. If you did wrestling, get yourself some Lucha Underground. Exactly, they have wrestling there too. Lucha Underground, uh, the pay per views of WWE from ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine. Of course, you dig wrestling. You're listening to this. Exactly, you know. You're either listening to this because you hate wrestling or you hate me. One of the two. Um, so head on both over to Movies Yeah, probably both. Maybe. Who knows? And that's why you're listening. Yeah. How about that? This is 2022, folks. I know, right? Yeah. So head on over to MoviesRUSA.net. Use that checkout code and let them know the three-way dance wrestling podcast. Entry. All right. Let's finally get into Money in the Bank, which came from MGM Grand that moved over from Allegiant uh, Stadium. Uh, so, the first match on the card is the women's <coughs> Money in the Bank. You good? I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> uh, women's Money in the Bank ladder match here. Um, this is the first pay-per-view in a while where Becky has looked less like a crack whore. <laughs> and more like the green Power Ranger. She was looking good in the green, though. I gotta give her that. Um yeah. Great double suplex on the ladder by Raquel. Uh, she she hit both of them with a suplex. That was great. Uh, great knee by Liv. 
the pile up. Like Becky did this weird pile up on the ladder and everything. And like it was a stupid move, but it was a good visual, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like common sense wise, it was stupid, but like the visual was pretty cool, you know. Um Lacey hit this sweet uppercut. Like I forgot who it was on. I, I didn't write down who it was on, but somebody was like sitting up and she know. ran and just did like a spinning uppercut. It was Shotzi. sweet. Shotzi, thank you. Um, nice power bomb from Liv off the ladder. Um, like usually you see the sun flip the sunset flip power bomb off the ladder over one person. She did it over two. I thought that was unique. There was no sound when they hit the mat though. It was just flat. There's yeah. nothing. <laughs> um that fucking senton that Shotzi missed, there's I, I don't think there was enough money that Vince could have paid me to be like, you're gonna take that bump. Yeah. Cause like that was just fucking brutal. That hurt me and I was just watching it. Yeah. You know? Um and one of you know, this is something I just how is Raquel not one of the biggest stars on SmackDown right now? I don't understand this. After this match, I don't understand it either. Yeah, the hell before this match. Um I well, thought Booking has been very spotty at best, unless yeah, your name's Gunther or Roman. And I will say the save from Liv was cool, like her catching herself on the rope and bouncing yeah. back up. That was cool. Overall, uh, I give it four stars. I probably would have given it five. The only reason I'm de- deducting one point is because they built up Lacey to be this. And I'm not just saying it's because I'm a Lacey Evans mark, but like they built up Lacey to be this big thing in there. And like she had some cool moments in the match, but like she was barely. I mean, like it was it was like she was never gone and like in a bad way. You know, like, okay, she's been here the whole time. Like, whatever. There was nothing special for her, you know? And uh, and they just treated Raquel as, like, this fucking underdog. Like, I don't understand how a woman that size who dominated. Underdog. Yeah, who dominated in NXT is being billed as, like, the dark horse. The underdog. Like, how the fuck? So that's I think why she I gotta should be a heel, too. That's why I got to give it four star. I would have given it five, but because of those two reasons, I'm giving it four. Because, <laughs> like, everything else I liked about it. Uh, and also, apparently, Shotzi Blackheart has been getting some fucking hate online about it. Shotzi, I hear you. I understand. Um, but, like, I mean, yeah, she botched the move. Shit happens. You know, she botched that one in the corner where she ran up the ladder. And then, no, like, I thought Shotzi looked better than what some others did in this match. I don't think she looked bad at all. Yeah, she might have botched a few moves there, but... At the same time, how much showcase have she got on the main roster anyway? Plus, you're opening a pay per view. She bo- she botched the run up the ladder. Match. She botched the run up the ladder, and she was supposed to supposedly supposed to do an electric chair drop to a bliss. And then oh she my like god, that was her. scary. She dropped her into the ladder, but like still, it worked out. Alexa yeah. didn't kill herself, and it had a cool visual. So I'm just like, yeah. I mean, now I can understand if maybe she hurt her, then maybe we'd be saying something different right now but like i was surprised that she wasn't hurt off that because she hit her head on that ladder pretty fucking hard it was a pretty cool visual though like oh shit you know like it makes you wince when it makes you wince and shit kind of like that shotzi miss senton that's when they like ooh shit you know like when you start wincing and shit when you get that realism that's what that's what i like about it with all the injuries lately though like fuck it just eh. Seeing shit like that is is it's true so cool. too though because like I said you couldn't have paid me if they're like okay you're gonna yeah. miss the senton make sure it hits your head I'm like um beg pardon hit my yeah. what yeah exactly <laughs> this was my match of the night really wow yeah I still only gave it four stars mostly because I felt like Lacey was built up to be something didn't get enough time. Yeah. Or didn't get enough spotlight in the match. Raquel looked like an underdog, which she shouldn't. <laughs> Shotzi should have got a little bit more time. There shouldn't have been as much focus on Becky versus Oscar right off the beat, right off the hop. But overall, four stars, like I say, my match of the night. I think Shelb is going to give this five stars because his favorite wrestler, Oscar, was in it. But go ahead. <laughs> um, didn't predict Liv Morgan winning, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't see it coming either. I didn't really mind it. I think it's a little soon for her, but um, I do like her, and I do think that she could be something someday. Uh, but not my kind of match. Sloppy spots with ladders. Um, nobody to cheer for, nobody to boo, because nobody's actually working. They're just doing spots. Hey, um, hey, hey, wait. Before you give a grade, let me just mention this. 
none of the ladders broke. <laughs> That's true, but just about every time somebody was laying on the ladder, they had to readjust themselves so that they were in the right spot. Um, yeah, not my style of match, two out of five. Oh, see, I thought you were about to say one, so okay. It was close to a one, but I enjoyed seeing Liv win. And I was in a good mood. <laughs> All right, coming up <laughs> next is Bobby Lashley taking on Theory, going for the United States uh, United unproven. States Championship. Shut up. Um, <laughs> I will say Theory in the po- fetal position made me laugh when like Lashley went for the spear and his defense yeah, just just getting drops. It fucking cracked <laughs> me up. Um, I was enjoying this until the 10 minute chin lock. Like, oh, they, see, that was good though. But it, it was, was like too. It was too fuck long. It just. But he's trying to build up the the anticipation of getting that comeback, and when he gets that comeback, no theory stops him, takes him down again, locks him back in the headlock. All right, so he fights back out. He's fighting back out. This time he's gonna knock theory out. No theory gets him back in it. It's it's building tension. I think I know. What I Shelby's fucking hate this. I think I know what Shelby's match of the night is now. Um. <laughs> Uh, I did like the the roll through press slam. Like theory went for the roll through, and then like Lashley caught him in a press slam. I thought that was beautiful. Um, this overall was way way better than I anticipated. Mm. So uh, I'll give it three and three quarter star. I give it one and a half. It was a cool down match. If I've ever known a cool down match, it was only the second match of the show. Theory looked like shit. The fucking fetal position spot was fucking stupid. If you're going <laughs> to build damn. up the chosen one to fucking Mr. McMahon, what the fuck are you doing? We're in the fetal position. Not to mention, the Theory looks like a fucking muskrat. Lashley was WWE champion at the beginning of the year. And now it's like, here's the U.S. title. We can give you the world title. Oh, and when we thought you were injured, you weren't. So we took the belts off you and made them one. So fuck you. Um... One and a half stars, the wrong finish. Theory should have retained. Lashley didn't need the belt. Uh, yeah, no, one and a half. Fuck this match. Tell us how you really feel. Yeah, really. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and people this... say, like, I'm the one that's like, oh, God, Artis is the one that fucking goes home and kicks puppies. Like, shit, after listening to that review, goddamn. <laughs> This to me was classic one on one on one wrestling. You got a clear baby face, a clear heel. The baby face or the heel is afraid of the baby face. He kept dropping out of the ring, trying to go away from Lashley, trying to get, you know, the advantage over top of him. Um, you know, I love I love him. I love the fetal position spot. I love the the spot where it. he tries to he plays a little bit of possum on the outside of the ring and and gets advantage over Lashley, you know, throws him into the post, goes back in the ring. He'll take a count out. He doesn't care. He'll retain his belt, you know. Um, Theory's selling his his facials, him saying no to Lashley when Lashley's, like, starting to get his comeback going. Oh, it was great shit, man. Um, the only thing I didn't like was I do think that Theory should have won it, and I think when they did the eye rake at the end of the match, they could have somehow worked that into a schmoz where maybe Theory hits his finish or Theory gets a roll up and holds tight to the rope or something. Uh, would have made it a little bit better. But yeah, match of the night, four out of five. I knew, your, I knew that was going to be your match of the night. Once you were just like, oh, that was the best part. <laughs> I, knew, I, I knew where it was going right there. Yeah, you did. So. <laughs> you called it. <laughs> uh, coming up next is Bianca Belair defending the Raw Women's Championship against Carmella. And. Um, can Mike Rowe's hair get any fucking taller? Did y'all see how fucking tall that fucking hair was? Like, you Jesus Christ. Well diet blue. Oh, my God. Um, okay, now, it, there looked like a moment in this match where Bianca was going to go for, like, some type of move, but she, Bianca slung herself over the top rope, ran at Carmella, and picked her up for a body slam. I'm like, Why? <laughs> Seems uh, very unnecessary. <laughs> and what the fuck was that finish? Carmella's just yelling at fucking Bianca, like, you, you're the suckiest, you're the tackiest, you're this and you're that. And then Bianca just looks at her, smacks her, hits the KOD, and it's over. Every time, every time I find, like, a Bianca Belair match, and I'm just like, wow, she's actually improving and shit. She's taking a step forward. The bitch takes three steps back. One and a half star. No, you know what? Fuck it. One star. 
I gave this two and a half. Uh, I have more plastic in Barbie, like in old Barbie dolls than what Carmella has. No, no, sorry. I have less plastic in old dolls than what Carmella has. The better uh, question is, why do you have old Barbie dolls? They're my sisters. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that still doesn't explain why you have them. I have more, pl- there's more plastic in Carmella than old action figures that I have. There you happy fuck off. They, <laughs> we got crusty uh, Nick tonight. <laughs> we got bitter Nick tonight. I never bitter once, tonight. I never once believed Carmella could win this. It made me wishing Ray Ripley was okay, so that we could have got that match. But then it pissed me off because Judgment Day isn't really a thing anymore. <sighs> Fucking idiots! You know what? I'm gonna go back to 1.5 just because Carmella looked good. Um, oh, gross! Ew. No, I. Uh, Bianca does. Wrong. Bianca does still seem to be approving, so I gave it a two and a half. But still, the finish was kind of odd. And yeah, I'm I like the ass. suplex it's march. Stupid. Well, your um, opinion is wrong. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I went into this match expecting absolutely nothing. The oh, first thing I go. wrote was, this match is going to suck. <laughs> here we go. Um, I got to the end of it. <clears throat> it was all right. It was a decent little match. Nothing too long. Didn't didn't overstay its welcome. Um, three out of five. That's all I really got to say. Other than the other thing I wrote in here is fucking Bianca slapping her ass all the time. Like, I don't understand what that's supposed to be and why you have to do it every fucking 10 seconds. See, when we she are, did that, I was like, slap that ass. That's right. <laughs> we are currently looking for a new co-host of the three-way like, dance ocean podcast. What did I do this time? <laughs> you gave this three stars. That's what you did. I, I didn't give it four. Oh, good. You might as well have. <laughs> All right. Coming up next is the undisputed tag team championship, the Usos taking on the Street Profits, and uh, let's let's address the elephant in the room on this one. Um, are the are the Street Profits the new DX? Yeah. Did really. I miss that memo? The cross yeah, gestures. I think, I think, yeah, the crotch gestures. <laughs> he stood on the top rope and did a crotch job for fucking like eight minutes, and I'm like, he did it like a couple no, different times in the match too. Gesture, crotch gesture. <laughs> I can't um, call it cross chop anymore. I'm sorry. It, it's got a cross gesture now. Pat said, Pat said, what is this to the suplex into the post? Like he never saw it. <laughs> I know. I fucking Jesus Christ. His commentary pisses me off sometimes. It wasn't until halfway through the matches when I realized like, oh, fuck, Corey Graves is in the booth, too. <laughs> yeah, I was literally halfway through the match. And I was just like, wait a minute. What's this other voice? I'm like, fucking Corey Graves. Uh, <laughs> Corey Graves is so melatonin compared to Michael Cole and fucking Pat McAfee that you just don't even notice him. Yeah. Um, oh, crotch chop to the chop. LOL. Like, I think he did like crotch gesture. Sorry. He did yeah. a crotch gesture and then got chopped for it. I thought that was great. Um, oh, yeah. Dawkins did a great dive. Uh, right there, and like uh, they, the prophet did this sweet fucking double team where like they did a pounce into I think it was I think it was Dawkins who did a pounce, and then like Montez caught him into a suplex. Oh, that was that was sick, fantastic! Like just six stars alone, just on the street prophets false finish. They hit the anointment, then the from the heavens, and then Jimmy just just made it there in time, mm. just. Uh, six stars just on that um awesome dive by ford him being able to fucking do that is just unreal uh great save from jimmy uh this this was by far the fucking match of the night man four and three quarter stars three stars not surprised when a few cool spots but overall too fucking long and i was too fucking bored yeah we did we got bitter nick tonight jesus christ <laughs> Oh man, um, this match went on for fucking ever. There were moments where I'm all about taking your time and and healing it up and pandering to the crowd, 
but it felt like half of this match was just the Usos fucking looking out into the crowd, trying to get them all riled up and shit. And it just, I, I got so disconnected during this match. It started moving all of a sudden, and I just really couldn't even pay attention to it that much more. Um, one out of five. Although I did like the angle at the end. All right, I'm going to head out. <laughs> I, I, what the fuck? What is, what is wrong with you on this match? I just, man, it went on. It, it overstayed its welcome. It's, what? It was. It went on for way too fucking long. Would you have rather? Too. Would you have rather Bianca and Carmella gone as long as this? Hell no! I would rather. No, that I would have rather. Not happened at all. I would have rather the Usos and the Street Profits gone as on as long as Carmella and fucking uh, Bianca. No! Oh my god! No. Because it just it kept going and going and going. That's called back and forth, baby. It's and it wasn't say. back and forth. It was just the Usos beating the shit out of the Street Profits. They even mentioned it on commentary. I, okay, I, I don't... You're both out of your fucking heads in this match, but okay. Yeah, I gave it three stars. I'm sorry, I was bored. Yeah, but still, you're like, I'm bored by it. Like, what? I guess some new fucking teams. Whatever. Um... Next up, for the SmackDown Women's Championship, we have Ronda Rousey defending against <laughs> Nat- Natalia. And I swear, Speaking you know, of plastic. I was about to say, you know, I, I know I mentioned that I like some women on this show and everything like that, and mentioned the boobs and everything, but, like, this, this just has to be said, and that is the longer Natalia wrestles, the bigger her boobs get. It's just gross to me now. I don't find anything about Natalia appealing. What? I'm sorry, not anymore. Have you seen her sister? You mean? Yes, I have. Actually. Oh my god, mm. god, her sister's one. Oh yeah. Um, but I mean, I just you know you don't need multiple boob jobs or multiple facelifts or whatever. Like what the fuck are you doing? Hmm. A uh, good reversal to the drop kick, like Natalia went for that drop kick and Ronda turned it into an ankle lock. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, you got to love that discus clothesline Natalia does. Um, I swear, Natalia just went to, I mean, I'm surprised she didn't just go to fucking every fan in the front row and like the timekeeper and everybody and just start saying, you shut up. Because she said it to everybody. <laughs> she said it to the yeah. fucking ref. She said it to fucking Pat. She said it to everybody. You shut just up. Like- you shut up. That's just like that's my job to talk. Yeah, you know, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, Ronda did the wrong taunt in the sharpshooter. That I found hilarious. I actually. think she did that on purpose. I really enjoyed that. So Why would you? Now, because it's Natalia. She's a heart. Yeah, yeah, but still. That's why. And Sean beat him with the sharpshooter yeah. in Montreal. Yeah. It was kind of like you know, that was like the like, one thing I liked about this match. Me too, actually. That was great. Uh, nice reversal out of the sharpshooter by Ronda. Overall, I thought this was it was a passable match. They did a fine job. Three stars. I had it at two and a half. I'm putting it down to two. Uh, the best what? part of the match was the Shawn Michaels taunt, and nobody fucking got it. Fucking idiots. Except for <laughs> Shelby and I, apparently. Yeah. Um, I thought it was stupid. <laughs> of course you would, because your opinion is wrong. No, it yeah. is. This is our we're podcast. For, we're, we're now looking for two hosts. No, we're, we're looking for one hosts. main host. Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be? Be I'm looking for two co-hosts. <laughs> you know, Nick. I I say this in the nicest way I can say, and that is, I have a fucking SUV with your name on it. Whoa! Hey, pal, <laughs> I drive an SUV, so try it at this point. You got up from one. Show me. Um, Shelby got he was just yeah. like oh. <laughs> I uh I agree with a lot of what Nick said though. Um the only other thing I had about this match was Ronda does a better sharpshooter than most of the AEW locker room after that I mean, fucking that double or nothing pay per view. Um finishing sequence was interesting. The match picked up a little near the end, but for me, this match suffered from Ronda's terrible baby face run. She does not look natural, not look like she wants to fucking be there. And it just I couldn't get into it. Again, two out of five. 
All right, but Ronda's night is not done because recent Money in the Bank holder Liv Morgan runs yeah. out and cashes in on Ronda Rousey. And it looks like that, that cash-in is going to fail because Ronda immediately locks her in the ankle lock. Yeah. Uh, so it left some good tension. So for that, I'm going to give it three stars. But fucking uh, um, Bailey, Bliss, Morgan. The same night cash-ins are starting to get old. Hmm. You know, when Kane did it back in the day, that was like, oh, shit, he did it the same night. That's fucked up. Yeah. You know, when Bliss did it, like, oh, shit, she did it. Dean Ambrose did it, too. Oh, yeah, Dean Ambrose. Yeah, I forgot about Dean Ambrose. But that was like a cool moment there because like all three members of the Shield yeah. held it one mm-hmm. night. Um, Like when a Bliss did it, it was like, oh, man, that's fucked up. She cashed in the same night. Bailey did it. And it was just like, mm, OK, I you know, it was a cool moment. Like, you know, everybody went nuts for it, but it was just like, mm, okay. Liv Morgan, I mean, yeah, it was a good moment, but I'm like, did we really need another fucking same night cash in? Yeah, that's why I put it at three stars as well. I didn't really rate the cash in. I guess I'll say three stars. Um, but I don't really care for the baby face cash in like that because a baby face shouldn't be looking to take advantage of another baby face when they're down and out. See, um, big however, East title ran. Yeah. However, well, that was a heel, but still, still, yeah. However, um, I am all for getting the belt off of Ronda, especially if she's still going to be around and they want to turn her heel. I'm, I'm, I say, fuck it, turn her heel and fucking have her beat Liv Morgan in like five seconds at SummerSlam. The story I read was that Ronda actually requested yeah. to lose the title too, and that, well, actually, the article I read was that Ronda Rousey wanted to be. Liv Morgan, which I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. What? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what does it mean? She wants to be Liv Morgan. Uh, I, I just, I, I think I like Liv, and I think there's a lot <laughs> in her. I just don't think she's quite ready for this yet. Bo really Dallas, not. look out for Ronda. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and in the main event, it is the men's Money yeah. in the Bank ladder match. But before the seven men are about to go off. Adam Pierce comes out and let me, just, Daddy. let me just uh let me just paraphrase what what he technically said and that is let me add somebody to this match the guy who's gonna win this match theory yeah that's basically what he should have said yeah yeah you know hey you know all that weeks of build up we did on TV well hey we're gonna put this guy in the match and he's gonna win it so yeah um but with that being said a uh, nice ladder shot on uh, Madcap and Madcap and Riddle, like uh, Omos, like they ducked under Omos' shot, but then Omos pulled the ladder back and hit him. I thought that, that was cool. cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, Madcap killed Madcap killed Sammy. Why did I write that? I was falling asleep, not because the match was boring, because I was like up really late watching this. But why did I write Madcap Let's killed Sammy? There was a ladder. Zane Lee broke Madcap ladder. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, the floating bro from the ladder was pretty sweet. Um, the table spot that they did to Omar. Yeah, it they was... Um, it. Okay, so Zane did a leapfrog to Madcap under the ladder, but then there was a power bar. Hmm. That's it. Um, the, the fucking <laughs> table spot they did to Omos, fucking through, they, they fucking lawn darted him through this table. Mm. Just that visual. I was just like, God damn. Um, Anybody notice that Riddle painted his fingernails? No, I didn't. No. Yeah, yeah. He painted his fingernails green. Weird <laughs> fucking yeah. guy. Uh, For money, I guess. I guess, but still, why are you painting your fingernails, bro? Yeah. Most money isn't even fucking bro. green, though. Or should I say, why are you painting your fingernails, sis? <laughs> Actually, I think most American money is still green, isn't it? No. No? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, somewhat. Overall, I thought this was – it was a fun ladder match. I mean, I just didn't – you know, I, I have three and a half. I'm taking it down to three only because I don't like that they added theory to the match right before because they, they might as well just said, hey, all that weeks of buildup we did for TV was for nothing. Here's your winner. Um, you know? Yeah, that – see, I, I put it at three stars as well simply because of the fact that, yeah, it was a fun match. 
but the but the addition of theory at the beginning pretty much said, "Hey, this is going to be who wins." Mm-hmm. Um, the power bond almost through the table was fucking sweet. Yeah. Uh, Drew tipping the ladder from underneath. Yeah, I call him the Scottish Seamus and I rag on a lot, but that was a cool spot too when he's laying underneath the ladder and he tipped it. Um, I think it was Seamus on the ladder. Yeah. Because then Bush came in there too. Um, there was, uh, let's see, almost choke bombing theory off of the ladder. That I thought was a cool spot. Almost, see, I was sour on almost being in this match at the beginning, but then I thought, wow, this is probably the best almost has looked all throughout. Yeah, he didn't have to debut. wrestle the whole match. He'd well, and that's match. see, that's what I'm thinking. But like, yeah. he actually looked fucking good in this match. Yeah, three stars. I just, I get the winner, but you you basically fucked up the booking of it. Yeah, right I just, I, I mean, if they wanted theory to win, fine, whatever. But like, they shouldn't have put Madcap in this match, considering yeah. that they're trying to build him up. No, he should have had a singles match. Yeah, Madcap, and yeah. like. I don't see why Sami Zayn was in the match, considering that they were just doing the, like, oh, if he wins, he's not going to cash in on Roman. Uh, like, then why put him in? Riddle was the favorite to win, in my mind, because he had just lost the ability to challenge Reigns. Or else Rollins, because then even they aired the Cody video early in the night. And, fucking... and that's, what people, that's what people kept saying, like, Rollins is the favorite. And I'm just like, what point <laughs> does it make to have Rollins win it? Yeah. Because Rollins is storyline yeah, wise, Rollins is the yeah. only one that Reigns has not been able to pin. He beat him though, didn't he? he beat no, him by dis- it was by disqualification. It was, it was not a pinfall. Man. It was DQ. I'm rocking. And not only that though, but the story with Cody and Cody was going to win money in the bank and that was his whole goal and he was going to win the title that way. So the story was going to be that Seth wins money in the bank, cashes in on Roman or Drew at Clash at the Castle and then Cody wins the Rumble and goes on to beat Rollins for the title at WrestleMania. No, Cody right. needs to beat Roman. Now it'll probably be Cody beats Roman and then Theory cashes in. And you're so, right, by the way, it was Seth Rollins beating him by DQ. Um, fucking Adam Pierce coming out had me going because in the weeks leading up to this, we were talking about how they could work Cody, Cody. Rhodes, Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, oh my god! And then when they did Theory, I was like, that's fucking brilliant. And I'll bet you they had this fucking plan for weeks. They did. They always wanted Theory to win it. But they yeah. bring Theory out to get those fucking booze because everybody wants it to be Cody, and now Theory's walking out. Um, the match is a ladder match. It's not my favorite. However, I did really enjoy Theory winning it. Um, I would not rush the cash in, though, and I don't think he'll be cashing in at SummerSlam like he says he will. I think um, it's he cashes in once Cody's won the belt. It'll. I. I don't think it'll be right away though. I think, think it, about the heat though. If it was right away, think about the heat. Holy fuck! I don't know. Returns, wins the belt, outcomes theory makes him look like a bitch, and then it's like, oh. I mean, there's a long way to go to that point, but that would be an interesting way to do it. And I mean, you could work to more theory matches. I just, I do think that like they need to cash in on the Cody Cow as soon as they can and give him a decent run with the belt. He doesn't need, like, a six-month run, but, you know, give him a couple months anyway. But, yeah, I don't know. I like Theory having it. I just hope they really hold out on his cash-in. Don't rush it. Otis? Oh, yeah! That's what I was just about to say. <laughs> I was like, they need to, raw. They need to do uh, Otis versus Theory for the briefcase and give it back to Otis. God. Oh, yeah! God, no. Have him redeem himself for puking up all those hot dogs. God. So, There's a cookout segment on Raw. I saw hot dog it, yeah. I saw where, like, the Mustafa, almost bit was funny. The, the, I saw where Mustafa Ali, uh, good. I saw where Mustafa Ali stole Veer's plate, and I was like, that's funny. But then I was reading results. 
results, I was like, they didn't pay off on this. Then I read the main event spoilers, and I was like, ah, that's where they paid it off. <laughs> oh, they do pay off Fear and Mustafa. Yeah, Beard defeats Mustafa Ali on main event. <laughs> oh, beautiful. That was great. Veer's just eating his chips. And then here's Mustafa. I think it was Ricochet. And he's just like, hey, watch this. Taste his food. Fucking Veer looks stuff like, oh, no. Oh, no. But then nothing and happened. It's already it begun. He's crazy. already become a comedy guy. Look at Shanky. Go, Shanky. Go, Shanky. Shanky might as well be walking out to hut the about a head ahead, about a head of the beer. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. Or or call him Big Shank and make him an honorary new to him member. This right here, this is Big Shank, and he's seven foot tall. And you can't teach that. Hmm. Bada boom! Tallest small hauser. Oh, okay, whatever. Um, all right, so on a scale of one to ten, what do we give WWE's money in the bank? Six point five. That's what I gave it. I had it at a five, but I'm going to raise it to a six. I, had, I was going to give it a five. Sorry. I was going to give it a five, but because of that tag team match alone, I had to give it a point and a half more. Just a single point and a half. Single point and a half. It was so good, man. I don't know what the so fuck. Good. I don't know what match I was. Did y'all, like, tune into, like, another match or something when that happened? I was just fucking bored, man. Sorry. Like, it just yeah. Didn't... No. See, you say you're I sorry, didn't... but I don't think you actually mean it. Well, no. Yes, yeah, I probably don't, but, you know, <laughs> got to keep up appearances, right? You know what? Fuck honest. you both. How about that one? How That's fair. That one? Actually, That's no, fair. I'm sorry. I don't swing, don't that, swing way. that way. <laughs> don't act like I'm not pretty. <laughs> You're not. Well. Yeah, I am. <laughs> That's I mean, the next, some video, the next video I post hey. is going to be me in a mirror just painting lipstick all over my face. Am I pretty now? Am I pretty now? It's getting sloppier and sloppier every go around. <laughs> what song is going to be playing? Uh, Celine Dion's All By Myself. You can make it even sappier and go to the original version by Eric Carmen from like 77. You know, that's funny that you mentioned Eric Carmen because like your original 80s reference, I was looking at Hungry Eyes. So it's funny Green that you mentioned Eric these. But then I went with um but I, I went feel with the magic between you and I. Like I was looking at a list of 80 songs. I need I was... you to see this love was meant to be man and a bam. You good? Bam, 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 bam. Oh, okay, now I am. We're good. I was looking at a list of 80 songs, and um, that was one of them. I was going to do uh, She's Like the Wind in the Trees. And then, I don't I know, for some reason. in my face. Yeah. The body I, close to me. But then all of a sudden, Mickey came in my head. And I was like, ah, fucking Nikki. There we go. We'll go with that. Yeah, it hey, works. Your head. Yeah. All right. So now let's move on to our fact of the week, where Nick usually provides us with a uh, Unique little wrestling fact there. So what do you got for us this week, man? Okay, so uh, this week, uh, across his enti entire career, Bill Goldberg has only lost by submission twice. Wow. To who? Oh, fuck. I don't know. I didn't get that. <laughs> <far>. <laughs> You're supposed to be our fact guy. <laughs> Well, that is a fact next, there, pal. Next time, we'll learn who those two are. Here's a bonus fact. <laughs> fucking Baron Corbin and Pat McAfee were fucking teammates and roommates on the 2009 Indianapolis Colts. I saw that picture today. It was like both of them on the Colts, and then it showed like a picture of them at SummerSlam, and it was just yeah. like long-term storytelling. <laughs> well, see, I think the only teammate aspect, they were part of the same training camp. Pat McAfee made the team... Corbin, Corbin didn't. didn't, yeah. It's yeah, funny about them but being they did live together. together. Yeah. They should bring that up in the fucking promos. I expect them to, actually. They're like, gonna Corbin's just like, like, Corbin's just like, remember, we were on the you same were team. You were shitty roommate. And then just Pat McAfee's just like, yeah, but didn't I make the team? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I paid most of the rent. Yeah, but didn't I make the team? 
Fuck you, Pat. <laughs> All right. So now let's move on to another it's one. It's like our- your girlfriend said, oh. <laughs> let's move on to another one of our games we like to play here. And that is our wacky game that we play here. He said, what? Um, that's where we put in our little mouthpiece here. And we say rest on the games or phrase. What? Giggity. Okay. I don't know. What was the giggity? I missed it. Put it in our mouthpiece. Oh. Like a little mouthpiece. Where we put it in our mouthpiece, and then we say wrestling names and phrases or such like that and see if the others can guess them. So, uh, one or two? One. All right. Two. Stay- We're doing one. Stables. All right. All right, here we go. Mm. Ah, yeah, I didn't get the scar. Okay. All right, her son. Mm, shit. Hold on. I put that in and I immediately started drooling. I can have extreme. <laughs> what? I can have extreme. Sports entertainment extreme. There you go. Ah. Uh, I, I design. Violent by design. There you go. Are they the elite? Are they all elite? Are they all elite? Are they all elite? There you go. I have an action. Misfits in action. action. Yeah, you got that one. Sorry. No action. HTC. RTC? No. CCC. CCC. No. CTC. CTC. There you go. <laughs> Crime time, Cena. Oh, yes. Okay. I was like, I know I got it, but. <laughs> Man, y'all flew through them. Shit. Yeah, I was mostly Nick. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. Um, one or two? Two. One. Two it is. <laughs> Song lyrics. Oh, so, man. just like you did before, I'm, I'm not going to sing these. I'm just going to say them. All right. Ha. Ah, there you go. Ah. 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 Enough is enough and it's time for a change. Yeah. 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 I is I. Yeah, is I. hi. You're beautiful on the inside. Your innocence personified. That is correct, yeah. The fuck was that? <laughs> That's Jericho scene. Oh, Judas. Yes. Ah, here, ah. I hear, hey. Ah, ha. Ah, ha, ha, He's a body, he's a body, he's a body. We're gonna figure that out one of these days. Ah, 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 Look in my eyes, what do you see? A cult of personality. That is correct. All right, next one. Ah, yeah, ha. Hey, ha. Ah, get her. It sounds like it sounds like the one I know, but it's it it's also something I know you would never pick. Ah, yeah, ha. Ah, ha. Ah, get her. Okay, no, it sounded the first time you said it, it sounded like O Radio. That's why I was. Just uh, 
That doesn't yeah, sound like yeah. one that you would pick. <laughs> I didn't think of that one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Harry. Ha. 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 Uh, uh, yeah, 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 uh, Something, 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 control. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Uh, I got nothing. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Adrenaline in my soul, whatever, whatever, in control. Uh, not quite. Although I can get it. Is it Cody Rhodes' theme song, though? Yeah, he got that, like, theme song, yeah. I mean, eh, eh. if you're okay with it, I mean, he guessed it first. Yeah, go for it. Man. All right. Next. It's actually lyrics, not guess the song, so he had the lyrics. I had no he idea. He did, yeah. He I just, just had control. It's every, it's every thought out of control. Oh, okay. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, I'm an ass man. Uh, uh, I'm an ass man. <laughs> it's I'm an ass man. Yeah, I'm an ass man, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah, eh? Hey. Ah, ah, hey. Hey, uh, no. Something, 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 90 miles per hour. No. <laughs> now you go. <laughs> Get ready. Uh, uh, hey, uh, no. Get ready. I'm coming for the end yeah. of the road. No. Yeah. Get ready. Uh, uh, hey, uh, no. No. Get, Get ready. ready for something that you never know. Ah, that's it's right. a big never show. <laughs> that's right, yeah. <laughs> oh, I hit my tooth <laughs> on that. Fuck. Is it my turn now? Yeah. No, that's okay. why we're all just quiet. One or two. Two. One. Two it is. NWA TNA. So all answers are pre before it went to just TNA. Orville Brown. <laughs> Triggered. America's most wanted. Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah, Huh? <laughs> Velocity. No. No, that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, but it, <laughs> Velocity was also on at the same time as NWA. <laughs> Michael Shea. Michael Shea. Michael Shane. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. The, the nasty, nasty boys? No. Not not here. Can it die? Is it out there? Is it The fuck? Can I see that? I don't know. Hmm. The Nationals. Oh, you didn't give me. Oh. I was done. Would you have got it though? <sighs> Maybe I know who the Naturals are. Hmm. Well, that's that's it, that, it's not a game of knowing who they are. You gotta understand what he's saying. Well, yeah, but if I know who they are, then I might right, so, guess them. Yes, sir. That team shall be suck. Does high hair other than here? I had I had a dish hat. Huh? I had a hardy hat. Huh? 
Oh, um, um, huh? <laughs> the safest other mutant? Motor City Machine Guns, but they were, yeah, yeah they were after NWA. I'm pretty sure. Again. Sunny oh. and share. No, that's just his sister. Oh, huh? This I God damn, when I hear this, I'm going to be pissed. Something. It's the somethings. No. It's not the at the beginning? No. Okay. <laughs> well, there went that. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I got nothing, dude. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Just say it, just The Disciples of Apocalypse. Oh, fuck. What was it? I, I, I said that with such confidence, I feel bad. It is. Is it Disciples, though? Yeah, disciples yeah, of the yeah. New Church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was trying yeah, yeah. to say, but it came up Apocalypse. I was yeah, like, I know yeah, Apocalypse yeah. is wrong, but. All right, so next one. Can I say that? Huh? Can I say that? Ken Shamrock. Ah, uh, Ken Shamrock. And I said, see that Cody. See your Cody. See that Cody. Three live crew? There you go. Oh, shit. Three live crew. Yeah, that's true. Up and like, bang. Three live crew. We still be getting rowdy. All right. Of course, this is my, fucking this is the last one I have <laughs> written down. This is the last one I have written down after this one. I got to fucking write others. Um, Here we go. <clears throat> Mm. Oh, the category is tag teams. Sorry. Ah. Uh-huh. Natural disasters? Uh-huh. Holly Cousins? No, that's an Yeah. Ass and somethings? No, that's an Na- Did you say nasty boys? No. Nasty boys? No. I don't know. Jackson Rotter. What? <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> you just roll a die. I know, right? We're not doing that this week. <laughs> no, it, it, never mind. Am I going to answer? No. <laughs> I have. And it's did tag you, teams? Would you like to buy a vow? Would you like to buy a vow? No. <laughs> I mean, I sure. Fucking clue. Keep going. Ass and routers. Oh, no, that's it. Ass and routers. <laughs> hey, you got it. Hey. In fact, who are the tag team members of Ass and routers? Who are they? <laughs> <laughs> Billy Ass and Colton Router. Shut up. <laughs> no, Ass and Routers. I hear Justin Roberts. That's not I heard tag Justin teams. Roberts too. I don't know. 
I've had fucking nothing. Yeah, okay, I'll give this one up too. Basham Brothers. Oh my god, the fucking Basham. Oh. Fuck. All right, uh, the Secretary is of Defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. What? Yeah, right. The, the Ass Boys? Yeah. Yeah. The accolades. Oh, God damn it. The yeah. ass boys. Yeah. You know, repeating what Shelby says doesn't make it right. <laughs> the APA. The yeah. The accolades. The yeah. <laughs> Dances with Dudley. Yeah. <laughs> The yeah. uh, Acolytes, Acolytes. The Dang I'm just trying to say words that sound similar. Uh-huh. The Dang Dongs. I was just trying to fuck with you with that one. That wasn't. Alright. Alright. Captain, I gotta say Alcott. Oh boy. Put the wrong goddamn team. Hold on. Uh, oh. Now I'm hearing Angle Alliance. Yeah, alright. The avalanche. Yeah, Bad influence. Bad cost. The influence. There you go. Oh. Madison Rain and <laughs> Mel Dashwood. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Ian Ron. I said tag team. <laughs> He's a big man. Team Bella. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Hmm. Oh. Hi, Erica. And what? Helico. Hi, Erica. Hoss and Rico? There you go. God damn. No ass on and high. Grandpa. Be a kind. Be claimed. There you go. Have arrived. God damn. I didn't get any of those. All right. My last one here is also factions and stables. Yay! All right, there we go. <clears throat> ha 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 ha. Well, huh? Ha <laughs> ha 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 ha. Huh? Ha 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 ha. Huh? Ha ha. Ha-ha. Backdoor Kai and Tai? Yeah. ha 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 Ha. Ha. That's fucking nothing. <laughs> I'm hearing ha. Kai and Tai, but... Ha 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 Maximum male models? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, Masua. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I got fucking nothing. Ah, ha. Black Pool Combat Club. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, too bad I can't count that because you said you had nothing. <laughs> That's called shit and you're not. <laughs> 
The Japs is correct. Stop saying that. It's not a thing. The Mexicools. Mexicools is correct. We're going to be in Nick one on that one. Uh, uh, ah. Huh? Uh, uh, ah. FTR? Yeah. Uh, uh, ah. Huh? Uh, uh, harder. Three M R. No. Uh, uh, girl. So final category hey, is I got on R. That's only far. Do you? Yeah, that's only far. God damn it, Shelby, you suck. <laughs> Jesus. All right, awesome. Ah, uh, yeah. It's surfing time. Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah. He. Yeah, hey. Deaf Cena family. No. Da Cena. Hey. The Cena family. No. Da Cena. The Heenan family. The Heenan family, correct. Ah, yes. I had family. I was getting there. <laughs> you were getting there, all right. Okay. The final category. Orville NXT. Brown. No, it's NXT, and it can count from game show days of NXT all the way up to 2.0. So something tells me there's a game show one in there. Theory. And it is hard. Leah Krug. Michael Tarver. Leah Krug. Uh-huh. Leo Kruger. Leo Kruger, uh, uh, you know. Oh, Leo Kruger, okay. Mm-hmm. Hi, Party knocker. Percy Watson. Percy Watson. Oh, yeah. Got two words for you, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Darren Young. Was it Darren Young? No. No, Dragon Young. Dragon Young. Darren Johnny Gargano? No, no. Diane. 
Diamond Game. Mine? Diamond Mine. Diamond Mine. Diamond Mine. Lucky Cannon. Lucky Cannon. You ready to get lucky? Okay. And then that's him. The Idiot A Show. The Idiot A Show. Pretty and A Count. Oh, um. Pretty and A Count. Fabian Eichner? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. All right, so we've eaten up all of our time on He Said What Tonight. So now we're going to move on to our vintage picks of the week, which is usually a match, a show, something that we think you should go back and watch for historical reasons or research or whatever. Research. So, uh, Shelby. It's yeah, your homework yeah. for the week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Shelby, what's your uh, vintage pick of the week? October 3rd, 1991, Battle Royal at Albert Hall. Um, oh, you like that, huh? I watched two matches off it, and this was uh, my favorite one off the two. Tito Santana versus Ric Flair. Never really cared for a Tito Santana match, but this one was actually pretty good. What do you have against Tito? I just... Arriba. Arriba. I don't know. I just He never really did it for me. Giggity. <laughs> oh, fuck. My Giggity. vintage pick of the week, it actually is... What they say was Andre the Giant's final U.S. TV appearance. It was an episode of WCW on TBS. It was young Tony Schiavone uh, with Missy Hyatt. And he interviews Gordon Soley, uh, who's got Andre the Giant with him. Wasn't it Clash of the Champions? Maybe. That's what I think it was. I'm pretty yeah, sure I'm pretty sure it's Clash of the Champions, yeah. Well, either way, they, they bill it as Andre's final U.S. TV appearance. And yeah. My vintage pick of the week is something that shows that this had potential and it just kind of all went down in flames. But uh, Lance Storm invades the WWE. Mm. Mm. Go back and watch him super kick fucking Perry Saturn and watch that fucking crowd erupt. <laughs> it just showed that like, oh, fuck, you know, like this could actually work. And then it just, you know, we all saw what happened. Yeah. yeah. But just go back. He was the first one to invade and shit like that. But just go, go and watch. He pops in the ring, super kicks Saturn, and like they went fucking nuts, man. You know. So that was a good moment there. So, all right. There's the bell. So we know what that means. That's the end of the three way dance wrestling podcast. Next week, Nick won't be with us. Uh, me and Shelby might be trying something new yet. I'm not for sure. Um. I'm gonna have Shelby watch Bratz the movie and Damn. Oh God. <laughs> no. Hey, but, uh, Shelby, yeah. it could be good. It, hey. I don't think so. Um I would just love to hear him rage through it. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'd survive. <laughs> but yeah, uh Nick's going away for two weeks. Uh so me and Shelby might try a pilot version of Oh, bedtime. Uh, uh, might try a pilot version <laughs> of the movie podcast that we have talked about since wrestling is such a niche audience. Uh, so we figure, uh, or Shelby actually came up with the idea. Uh, Shelby thought we'd branch out into some movies and everything like that. So we'll figure that out then. And then probably the week after that, we'll probably be taking a break. Um, let Nick recharge, let I recharge, let Shelby recharge. And then uh, the week after I that, I have a princess after all. You are. You're the princess of the show. Um, princess Shelly. Hell yeah. Princess Shelly. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> uh, and then we'll, believe it or not, we'll be back for SummerSlam. You know, also, it's we baby have a show me. in between Is uh, SummerSlam and like when I'm, but yeah, so my sense of time's all fucked. So like the week of the, the 26th, 25th, where uh -huh. SummerSlam is on Saturday, I'm back that week. So we'll have to pay yourself. Oh, out okay. Week. So, all right. All right. So we won't be back with SummerSlam with Nick. We'll be back with, I don't know, something. Figure it out. Yeah. So, oh, uh, yeah. Until next time, guys. I'm the Others One for Nick and Shelby. Be breezy, guys. <laughs>